Okay, here we go. Across the country, self-identified democratic socialists are running for elected offices, adding more political power to the progressive agenda. Jackie Fielder is one of those candidates taking on Wall Street, income inequality, and the climate crisis. She's with us today to talk about her campaign for California State Senate. Jackie, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. What motivated you to run for state senate at this time? Well, here in District 11, this is all of San Francisco and a few other cities to the south of us. We are ground zero for inequality. Here in the city alone, we have 75 billionaires and more than 9,000 unhoused people uh, sleeping on our streets as we speak. So it's a matter of, especially right now, it's a matter of life and death for a lot of people. And I think that wealth has been concentrated in the hands of a few at the expense of uh, giving an opportunity for a dignified life for the majority. Absolutely. Talk about your background a bit and how it influences your activism and the issues that you care about. Absolutely. So I'm a, a proud Latina and indigenous woman. I am an educator and organizer. I, after college, um, got involved in the No Dakota Access Pipeline movement. Had some I victory had, there recently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, really great. The, the pipeline company has to redo an environmental impact statement. So we'll see how that goes. But, uh, you know, starting in 2016, had been organizing for divestment and uh, divesting our $11 billion budget here in San Francisco out of the Wall Street banks and into something else. Uh, inadvertently became um, kind of a, a public bank advocate and founded the San Francisco Public Bank Coalition. And last year we passed statewide legislation for creating a pathway for public banks here in California. This is terrific. Uh, did, you, did you do any work about public banking and the postal system? Oh no, not, not not at that point. And right now we've been focused just very locally trying to get the first municipal public bank in the country so that we can divest city monies from fossil fuel corporations, real estate, luxury real estate, um, weapons manufacturing, and then reinvest in deeply affordable housing, small businesses, public infrastructure, and sustainable food systems. You've won, uh, you know, you've worn a lot of hats in your advocacy, educator, organizer, activist. Why electoral politics now and why the state Senate? Yeah, I mean, 2020 is the year that, you know, we we were going to see a ton of investment in, in politics with the presidential election. And, you know, our planet is out of time. Uh, people were out of time before coronavirus and even more so now. And I've just felt a growing urgency to have um, someone in the California legislature in general uh, speak to the issues of working class Californians. And so, um, you Is know- Is that missing from the California legis state legislature? Absolutely. And, you know, I'm running as an open democratic socialist and um, I will always be of the belief that organizers and culture actually moves policy, but California politics is so, um, I guess it, well, it happens in Sacramento, which is far from Los Angeles or San Francisco. And I think that we, we don't really know who our legislators are or what they do unless we're really plugged in. And so I want to see that change. I think because there is such an influence of money in politics, of corporations and luxury real estate, that it's really hard to get legislators to actually be accountable to their constituents. And okay. so part of that, I'm, I'm not accepting any contributions from uh, real estate lobby, charter school advocates, um, you know, fossil fuel corporations, not that these people would want to ever support me, but <laughs> make it clear that I'm accountable to everyday people and not these other, you know, interests. Um, Jackie, can you talk a little bit about why it's important to use the mantle democratic socialist? It seems like if you just said Democrat, you know, um, people might mistake you for what's happening in the Democratic Party. 
<laughs> and, you know, I am running as a Democrat, but uh, here in San Francisco, there is such a spectrum of, of Democrats that we actually can have that conversation about what it means to be a Democrat and uh, stand up for working class people and minorities. Um, for me, it's about making sure that the, the wealthiest individuals and corporations are paying their fair share to society so that things like housing and, and food and education can remain the human rights that they are. Um, that's what democratic socialism is to me. And I think people get that. Some of the issues that you've championed are the rent and mortgage cancellation and public banking, as we just discussed. Can you talk about why these particular ones are so important to you and the people you hope to represent? Yeah, so like, like food and education, credit has become a necessity to survive in our economic system. Mm -hmm. And what we're seeing right now, obviously, is so many individuals small businesses, they really just need to be able to wait out the storm. And the big banks are not helping them do that. Big banks are connecting uh, PPP loans to their most you know, loyal customers and the, the most well-off small businesses like Shake Shack. And yeah, so- That's really small. Exactly. It's got, so yeah, we need- public banks that are responsive to the needs of our communities. Um, in our community, we need to keep the, the economy here thriving. And Wall Street banks having the interest, the, the interest of maximizing profit that they do and having the global reach that they do, they can't really you know, uh, be as responsive to communities' needs. They don't have the public mission of, uh, you know, preserving affordable housing or keeping small businesses uh, alive uh, when they're on the brink of, of closing forever. And so in order to, to bring about the world that we want, whether that's with a ton of new renewable energy infrastructure or affordable housing, we really need a bank that has a mandate to serve the public. Jackie, uh, we're speaking with Jackie Fielder, candidate for California Senate District 11. Can you talk a little bit about um, seeing other, you know, seeing this rise of democratic socialist candidates across the country? What does it mean to you? And was it encouraging to you uh, to run maybe if you wouldn't have run in, in, in without the upswell? Absolutely. And, you know, this is this is a part of a bigger movement for younger uh, people who are from, you know, marginalized backgrounds to to go for it. And I'm absolutely a part of that. And, and there are so many amazing people that have have carved that path for me. Um, you know, here in San Francisco, we elected a democratic socialist supervisor, which is our equivalent of the city council. And he has been at the forefront of so many tenants issues because of his background in uh, tenants rights and being a tenants rights lawyer. This is Supervisor Dean Preston. And so we are, we are really lucky in San Francisco for the past few years to be electing not just progressives, but recently democratic socialists as well. We recently elected uh, District Attorney Chase Boudin, who you know identifies as a socialist and has made good on a lot of promises to reduce our jail population, even in coronavirus and especially in coronavirus. And so I'm I'm also part of a, a swell here locally um, of of kind of underdog candidates challenging the the usual setup for politics of having to climb the ladder and and do all that stuff. That's great, Jackie. Uh, you know, everything that Bernie Sanders has been saying is people get, just start running. And, uh, you know, a lot of the things we talk about here on the show are the need for uh, candidates at all levels of government with the, the most and strongest progressive politics. So I'm very happy that you're running. I wish you luck. How can people who are watching support your uh, run? Thank you so much. Yeah, we are a grassroots campaign funded by individual contributors. And so you can go to Jackie4FORSenate.com to contribute there. We're also doing phone banking in this time, talking to voters one-on-one -on -one every day except Sunday. You can sign up on the website as well. 
That's terrific. Thank you so much. Again, Jackie Fielder, candidate for California Senate District 11. We are going to be watching your Senate race. Hopefully you'll come back on and talk to us uh, about what's it like, what it's like on the ground there in California. And, um, and, and thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Take care.